Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the how programmatically we can render the components. So programmatically render the components. So instead of using the component directly in a template, you can also dynamically render the components. So basically there are two main ways to dynamically render a component. First one is using ng component outlet or in your types TypeScript code if you want to write it means then we need to use the view container ref. So these are the two ways how we can programmatically render the components. For example, let's say that in a template if you want to render a component dynamically, so we will be using ng component outlet. So let's try to implement that ng component outlet. I will try to show you a basic example for this one. So now here I will be creating a two components that is first one is admin profile and the another one is the user profile. So now we will be having a flag something like is admin. So if is admin is true means then we need to load the component admin component or if is admin is false means then we need to load the component user component. So these two components we need to uh, these two components based on the toggle we need to load it dynamically. Normally what we will try to use we will use an ng if statement to load the component but here we can dynamically render the component by using the ng component outlet. So I will try to show you that basic example. So I am creating the component admin profile. So let it create. Now admin profile component is also created. Now I am creating another one that is nothing but user profile. So I will create this user profile component also. So admin profile component is created and also the user profile component is also created. Now what we need to do is so here we will have we are having two components based on the toggle we need to show the admin or the profile. So here let's go to the app.component.ts file. So this is our app component and here I will be loading admin profile component and the user profile component. So these are the two components and let's say that we are having a where flag in such a way that is admin is equal to true. Okay. So we are having a is admin flag. Now based on this flag we need to show uh, admin profile component. If it is false means then we need to show user profile component. So if you go to the app component.html file, so this is our app component.html file and here I will do in such a way that app admin profile. So this is our thing and another one will be having app user profile, app user profile. So these are the two components which we will be loading. Now based on the toggle we need to load only one one right. So here I can use ng if, okay, if it is is admin. And we are having ng if. We will try to learn about this ng if also. So in uh, uh, Angular 17, so there is a new implementation of this one. So not of is admin. So now if is admin, so now here we are able to see that admin profile works. Why? Because the flag is true. Now if I try to make this one as a false, then what will happen? So this will become user uh, uh, admin is false means then we are getting user profile. So in, in this way we can load whatever the component you want it using the ng if. But we know, uh, but we need to render the component dynamically. Here we are having two components, but we need to render the component dynamically in the template. Okay, this is in a template. So for this reason, what we will try to do is we will be using the ng component outlet. So here instead of implementing these two things, I will implement ng container. We will try to learn about this ng container also. ng container and here ng component outlet. Okay, so this one should be start. It's a structural directive. We we'll learn about the structural directives also lot more option lot more things are there so get i will use get profile component okay so i i need to get the profile component now if you go into this one in our app component.ts file so here i will be writing get profile component and in this one i will return okay if this return this dot is admin is there then i will return uh, admin profile component or otherwise I will return user profile component. That's it finish. So now if you try to see here we are able to get a user profile works and if you try to see here in our uh, uh, where is this one uh, if I make it as a true and this one is admin profile component works. So this is one way which we can load the component in a uh, a lo load the load the component dynamically in a template. So this is how we will be doing it. Now what I will try to do is I will commit this code. So now in order to instead of adding this one dynamically in the template, if you want to write through the TypeScript code means then what we can do. 
I already discussed it, right? In a view child, we have another option that is view container ref. In the next video, I will try to explain you about this view container ref also. So this is how we will be loading a component dynamically in the uh, what I can say is in the ng component outlet. What I will do is I will commit this entire code in a new branch that is video hyphen 25. Okay. And here I will commit this entire code ng ng component outlet. So this is all about this. Is, uh, so whoever may be having doubts or if you want to refer this code means so you can go to my GitHub repository URL. I will be providing the link in the description so you can have a take a look at that one. And if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.